Hi everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll be doing a walkthrough of Stewie's Stage Bird of Bully Trophy. And this, and by the way, I made this hobby. And yes, I just finished it not too long ago, and now I will make a walkthrough on it. So I'll walk you guys through every stage and how to beat it. So let's get right into this YouTube video. So yes, you got the difficulty trophy, and there's effortless, very easy, easy, average, medium, hard, difficult, challenging, intense, remorseless, insane, terrifying, catastrophic, and nil. So yes, those are all the difficulties. And yeah, the first difficulty is extremely easy. You know, you got like a wrap around some jumps, tight a little tightrope thing, super duper easy. So effortless, very, so effortless is super easy. Very easy is also extremely easy too. Yeah, I just got, this is the first introduction to kill bricks, which will instantly kill you right when you touch them. Also, yes, there is shift lock, not for mobile yet, but I will add that, I will be adding that soon. You can skip a stage for five Robux. You can also spectate people. And since there's no one else in the game, I can't spectate anyone, but yeah. Also, R to reset. There's a zero second res reset time, so you reset instantly. Also, there's alignment keys, so those are all the things. Then you've got this donation board, which I was testing it out just to make sure it works in the thing. But yeah, you can donate 5, uh, 5 10, 50, 100, 500, 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000 Robux. So I'd be really happy if any of you guys donated Robux to me. Because yes, I've never actually gotten donate any Robux. Except for premium benefits, I've made Robux off of 18 in total. But that's just from premium players playing my game. But yeah. So yeah, the reason why I, like, I'm on, like, I go to stage 14 when I die is because... I beat the obby already, obviously. But yeah, like you guys won't have to keep tapping the arrow because you guys will be on stage zero and slowly progress to the obby and you'll be able to like move the marker based on what stage you're on. So let's say you're at stage two. You won't be able to move it this way as long as you're only on stage two and this says stage two instead of like 14. So you'll be able to like move back and stuff and yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, we're on stage two, which is Let's see, easy, okay, so easy is very easy too, so, you know, they're both very easy stages, and I don't know why I died. Also, so everything's an instant kill, basically, so it's not stress at all for that, and since I don't have a reset button, I just have this, so when you fall, you reset instantly, like, boom, you just reset instantly. So, yeah, I'm gonna be adding that mobile reset button soon, or computer, I guess, if you want to, for some reason, drag your mouse up there, but it's okay. That's what I'll be adding soon, super soon, like really 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 soon but yeah it has my game has 20 views already which is really good i haven't made any premium benefit robux off of it since I've, i actually did add premium benefits but that's good next is medium which is pretty unique it's like a cross that i made it took it quite a while to make to be honest but i had to, like i had to make this long structure thing and then copy and paste it and move it around to make it even and all that the hardest part about making an obby is making everything symmetrical and even really I mean, I know I really don't have to do it, but in my opinion, it looks better, and I don't know why I wouldn't have to. But yeah, next is hard. Hard is, yeah, I guess, getting pretty hard, but this is a really cool contraption I made here. There is no way to cheese this. I've tried cheesing it, but it's impossible to cheese it. Like, cheesing it basically means that you, like, do it, like, not how it's supposed to be done. These are glitch proof, glitch wrap proof. See, when you try to glitch wrap it, yoink. Just, just because they've got that little thing on difficult, they've got this little like thing. Honestly, they look really cool, but yeah, they've got this little thing making it a seven stud wrap around. Not too, too bad, you know. Some crazy like gigantic lava wraps. Not too bad though, to be honest. It's only three stud, but like the reason why I made it decently big, just because I really wanted to. But yeah, and but if you guys want to make a really famous game, there's a trick. Difficulty trophies normally don't get that famous. I was just using this as a practice. It's mega fun, obviously. Like, unfortunately, I know it's sad. They're so they take like not that much time to make. There's but then there's another secret. These the, the saddest kinds of games you could ever make. You'll make the most robots off of, and I'll be telling you. Super soon here, but yeah, I'm on challenging. Is this challenging is really where it gets really hard because you got these massive lava jump things that I added. Yeah, and what I mean by games that you make millions of robux off of possibly if you get semi lucky and when i mean semi lucky i mean you can get very lucky and make way more than just millions of robux off of and, and what these games are the donate games like donate if like if you donate a million like robux i'll shut down the game or something like you know those kinds of games i bet you guys have seen it on the front page you guys probably know these games but if you look people have donated thou hundreds of thousands of to millions of robux on these games some of them say like 10 million Robux and I'll shut it down or something. But it's insane. 
But how do you know they're not lying about the amount of Robux someone donated? Like, what if someone donated, like, a million Robux, but they didn't shut the game down and said they only donated 100,000? See, you can't really tell if they're lying or not. Or if someone, they say someone donated a million Robux, but they really donated nothing. So, you know, you really don't know. But still, those games do make millions and millions of Robux. At least thousands, at least thousands. But yeah, basically, for this stage, you just kind of jump over these, hold spacebar at first, because that really helps. Then you gotta do that like little chest contraption. You have to go down quite a bit because they're very far spread. So then, yeah, stage eight. And I can be every stage. The first I've gotten is mid terrifying, but that's only because like I'm, I just don't have enough time to show you guys all the like keep dying until I beat it. So yeah, stage eight, which is intense. You just do a corner clip. This is not a wall hop, guys. You cannot wall hop it. You can prove it. You can't wall hop it. No way. It is a glitch wrap there is no way at all to wrap to wrap around obviously or wall hop or any other glitch this thing it's 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 specifically designed as that got this good gc 10 stud or 12 i think 12 yeah 12 stud okay next we have remorseless not too too bad not too terrible but definitely getting really really hard gotta start with a simple dance clip you know it's average for remorseless right i mean normally they start with that I was just testing and practicing on an odd decoder, Robbie. So, you know, I wasn't expecting it to get that famous, but compared to most, because, you know, you have to get pretty lucky, I guess, to get thousands of views on your game. People only like games that are really easy that everyone, that, like, everyone can easily beat, or simulator. Because simulators are practically mindless. You don't even really have to do anything. So, you just have to play these. But, you know, that's fun. I'm going to be making simulators someday, too, so don't worry. I've already made a get buff simulator, it's like really famous. But yeah, I can put that in the description too. But yeah, basically stage 9 is stage 9. It's epic. So yeah, then you guys can play get buff simulator too. I've made 10 robots off of it so far. Also a game I made called Survival the Bacon of the Killer. Like literally like the first game I've ever made. It was very basic. I made it a long, quite a while ago. <laughs> like I think over, over like a year ago or something. Like it was a long time ago. And then yeah, I made it and I've made eight Robux off of it. My first Robux ever made. So yeah, that's how I made. What? Oh wow, they changed physics. Okay. This is what I mean. Or sorry, mid insane. Because then there's a 12 stud high glitch thing or high jump. But yeah, unfortunately I cannot do this. But you, you basically just go down like this and go yoink, and then, yeah, you should make it up. But, yeah, it's pretty hard. This stage is possible, guys. I know it's possible. So, terrifying. You do some wall hops. Then, a uh, huge chest flick thing. And, yeah, basically, it is possible. Don't worry. Then, you've got catastrophic, which is this thing. Yet again, not glitch wrappable. But, you go like this. It's 11 stud wraparounds, by the way, guys. If you were wondering. Got the first one. I've done the one instead wrap rounds, by the way. It's just they're really hard. Then you've got this eight stud kill brick wrap, which is possible, guys. It is possible. Then last stage, stage 14, you've got 11 and a half stud wrap. For some reason, I can do. I have no idea why I can do it, but okay. Then you've got this head hitter wall hop, which you literally just go like this and hold, hold S pretty much the whole time, like at the end. And then you've got a 13 stud jump, guys. I know, it's cool. But yeah, that's the end of the obby. Then it says... Great job, you have beat the obby, yay. You get to beat the obby, wall hop the difficult obby, whatever, yay. It's amazing, so yeah, those are all my stages. There are 14, there are 13 stages in this obby, or 14, 14, but yeah, 14 stages in this obby. Technically 15, but I started on stage zero instead of one. Yeah, I'll, I can fix that later though, guys, so don't, no need to worry. But yeah, basically that is the full walkthrough of my obby. It also has good music in it, so it's got all the stuff too. It has alignment keys, auto reset, all that stuff. You know, and I'll be putting every single glitch video I have ever made in the description, guys, and how to use alignment keys, all that. Also, be putting the video on how, like, how to make a difficult, like, the hyperlink on to the video on how to make this, like, the how I did the difficult trophy. Like, it's by using this, like, th there's this one video that I watched on how to do it, and it shows all the things on it. So that's cool. Then you've got all those. So yeah, you've got those hyperlinks. I'll put survival, bacon, of the killer, and also. Get buff simulator in there too so yeah a bunch of hyperlinks i'm putting in there because yeah those hyperlinks will be good because then you can play my game and yes all the games even this game too so yeah if you guys have any videos you want me to make or video suggestions leave them in the comments and remember to like subscribe hit the bell and church wall and i'll see you in the next video bye everybody